Okay. Oh man, alright. So. Mmm. Juice in it. Oh shoot! What it do, baby? Alright, it's your boy Bev back in the house. Alright, why are we outside? Well, we're by the Fountain of Gains, except it's not on right now. You would know what the Fountain of Gains is if you watched about like two videos ago. I discussed it. Anyway, so I'm gonna take y'all to the Fountain of Gains for mobility today. More specifically, the functional range systems. So if you're just here for information, check out the timestamps below, all right? You can just sift through the video as you please because I will be showing you more about my life, kind of some funny skits here and there, just so you guys can get to know me more. But also at the same time, if you're just here to make gains, I respect it too. You can just go through the timestamps below and watch the video as you please, baby. All right, anyways, don't wanna to talk too much in the intro and uh, let's get to the video, all right? Much love, peace. I'm about those lifestyle vlogs these days, okay? <laughs> All right, so James coming up. Show him where we're at. Show him where we're at. Turn it, you turn. Crunch. It's time to go. Yes, yes, the people. You heard it here, folks. Like and subscribe and cure the world of back pain. Oh, hi, right, babe. We got him. Oh, dang. No, Get in no, old. No. Don't cut it off. Cut it. Cut it. Oh, cut I don't it. know how to do that. It's drugs. Hey, what are you doing? Dude. Oh, my God, dude. It's not supposed to be like this, man. All right. Anyways, it's the it's the red light therapy, but all right. that's not this video though. That's the next one. But we got to get a black couch for that one because I am in the film. Show. Hey, yo, what it do, baby? All right. So listen, today what we're gonna be talking about is uh, kind of just to recap over the last video is essentially why uh, my mobility sucks like ass and probably why your mobility sucks still like ass regardless of all the videos and whatnot you've been watching on YouTube and what you've been taught, all right? Hold on, you can't make bed noises. I'm talking right now, okay? The shotgun mic picks up everything, please. I need some silence, I need and a library. that noise, you mean just me moving, not noise. What was I talking about? Okay, back to why your mobility. You what? Why your mobility still sucks like ass, all right? So the thing about it is, is throughout this video, I'm gonna try something different, all right? I'm gonna be kind of going in and out from the gym scene back to this scene, possibly to other scenes as well, kind of discussing about my mobility journey and where I'm at currently and how I'm going to be getting to my goals. And boys, okay, we got a close up this time, all right? I know that this video is about mobility, but this also has a lot to do why, you know, your muscles are still tight, okay? Why your joints still hurt and why you just overall feel like an 80 year old man and majority of my audience is probably within that 20 to 30 year old uh, age, age gap, you know what I mean? So even if regardless, you don't wanna improve your mobility, still consider a lot of the things in this video because that is what's gonna get you onto the path of clean crispy joint movements okay because you don't want to sound like a rusted machine and you're at your prime at 22 years old okay because that's where your boy was at was that six years ago anyway so let's get into this video so first we're going to cut to um just some gym stuff all right I turned it down because I actually want to talk about something really important here. I know I don't shut up about functional range systems, but the thing about it is, 
keeps me from out of breath is with the full range systems. Check this out, okay? So, for instance, in break dancing, I know not everyone wants to b-boy, okay? But the problem is, it took me to get out of the element of lifting in order to learn mobility because sometimes I feel like you need to put yourself into like the demands of what high mobility means in order to kind of learn. So, uh, for instance, when you got the shoulder car, if you go to my cars video, a shoulder car essentially is up in the flexion, which I actually found out I don't have enough flexion even to do handstands, okay? But the point is, right here, when we go with the shoulder extension, sorry, I got my boy looking at the back. When we got shoulder extension back here, the problem is oftentimes in lifting, we don't ever utilize shoulder extension, okay? But so the thing about it is, when we're talking about shoulder extension back here, you know, when it, when in working out, do you really do this, okay? Maybe on rear delt flies, you know, but even then, not, not too much. So, the demand, for instance, like when we're doing flares, like flares, so I can't do them, okay? So I can't really do flares, but check this out. So when you throw down, that was really bad, but the point is, you have to have your hands back here, all right, when you flare. So, kind of to go back to the car, that is shoulder extension. So, obviously I need to improve on that, and then in the flare, your legs are like way up. So, hold on. Maybe I can redeem myself. I haven't warmed up for it, but here we go. Hold on, let's check this out. Okay, so probably a little bit better, but if you see, I'm lacking a lot of shoulder extension on that right arm, especially, okay? My elbow bends, and when I just get here, I can't produce force. So, that's why, that's why the system, to me, it's very specific, you know? It's, and not only is it I'm lacking shoulder extension, but I'm lacking a lot of it on my right arm. And so you really have to consider that, you know? And the problem is, most people that you would go to wouldn't be able to identify that, okay? But for instance, in breaking, that's really important, okay? Maybe in even uh, martial arts, uh, like jujitsu and things like that, you know, sometimes your arm does get back there. I've never done jujitsu, I did wrestling in high school, but sometimes your arm does get back there. So you need to learn that, you know, those ranges of motion are, are important. You know, just because they, they don't demand uh, they don't demand that range of motion in the gym when you're working out, when you're lifting weights, uh, that doesn't mean that you should neglect it, you know? Because what if that day comes where you do want to get into jujitsu, you do want to get into gymnastics or something out there? Well, you're gonna wish you had that mobility. So you definitely need to do cars, you know, very often. You need to, you know, see what's gonna kind of going on back there. Okay, and from there you can kind of identify like, damn, like, I'm missing these range of motion in my body. And so that, that's where it becomes very important. Anyways, let's get back to training. So internal rotation, I have nothing. Okay, external rotation, not even much better. The point is, this leg needs to be way up here. The right leg is high, and then, and then, yeah, so.